This morning we've set off on what's to be an epic three-day adventure visiting the Scottish Highlands, Loch Ness, and the magical Isle of Skye. It's an incredible three days packed full of adventure, stories, natural history, and of course the Gaelic and Viking traditions that are still held in the island today. Our first stop is scenic Glencoe in the Highlands, a stunning landscape where historic battles were fought between Scottish clans and the Crown. Your tour is customizable, so you can stop as much as you want to take in the view. We have made it to our lunch stop for the day, delightful Fort William. No matter where you go in Scotland, you can be sure you will find a kilt shop. After making your way to the Isle of Skye, you'll spend two nights in the picturesque town of Portree in your choice of a bed and breakfast or hotel. I totally see why people love Portree. It's so cute. All these little shops and restaurants. People are really friendly. I can live friendly here. Friendly visitors! <laughs> And then in day two, we do try and make sure that we cover the Trotternish Peninsula, which is a, an incredible place with a fascinating history. Trotternish Ridge is known for spectacular cliffs and rock formations, like the Pass of Kerrang and the Old Man of Store. Then travel west to Nice Point with its iconic lighthouse. It can be really easy to try to get around and see everything, but sometimes you just have to stop, take a breath, and appreciate the moment. We've made a wee stop here to visit the museum dedicated to island life. These authentic croft houses are a look at what life was like on the island 200 years ago. We had a bit of extra time, so we made a quick stop at the Isle Sky Brewery, trying the ale and the sky red. Every tour is different. Not one is the same as the other, because we have the ability to adapt to suit the individual group that's on the tour and we will make it the very best tour we possibly can. Day three includes a trip to Elandonan Castle. Perched on an island where three lakes meet, Elandonan Castle may be one of the most picturesque castles in Europe. Loch Ness is world famous for the sea monster that may or may not lurk in its depths. It's beneath this water surface that Nessie apparently lives, the Loch Ness Monster. On your visit, you can explore the lake by boat or explore Fort Augustus and enjoy a bite to eat. One of the things that I think makes a successful tour is, is when you reach the end of it and you say, I want to go read more about this, I want to learn more about this, and that really has been accomplished on this trip. I could not have asked for a better few days here in Scotland. Going through Glencoe with the Scottish Highlands, the Isle of Skye with its unique rock formations and breathtaking vistas, and then Loch Ness with its mysterious atmosphere. The icing on the cake, though, our guide, who was so knowledgeable and so passionate. I feel like I really connected with the spirit of Scotland.